Scientists and researchers from the East Coast are joining the Canadian Navy on its first ever Antarctic mission. Alex Normando is a marine geoscientist normally based in Nova Scotia, but currently aboard HMCS Margaret Brook, headed south. So you boarded a few days ago. How has it been going so far? It's been very good so far. So we boarded uh, about two days ago, but we arrived in Punta Arenas about five days ago. And so during those first three days, we were able to mobilize the vessel, put all our equipment on board, make sure all our gear is set up. And uh, in the last two days, uh, we've just been sailing uh, offshore upon Punta Arenas and, and making our way slowly towards the Drake Passage. Well, what kind of work will you be doing once you arrive? So we have a very large multidisciplinary program. So on board, we have uh, geologists from Natural Resource Canada. We have some uh, people working on contaminants from uh, ECCC, Environment Canada. We also have uh, Fisheries and Oceans Canada scientists uh, looking at the water column processes. And then we have uh, many representatives from Canadian universities across Canada, including from Dalhousie and from Miopar, um, that will be uh, looking at oceanography and ocean currents in Antarctica. And so on the marine geology side, we're interested in reconstructing glacial retreat in Antarctica uh, using sediment cores. So we collect sediment from the ocean bottom and then we try to reconstruct where glaciers were 100 years, 1,000 years ago, and then to see how these trends have changed over time uh, in the region. Well, what are some of the biggest challenges in accessing Antarctica? One of the big challenges in accessing Antarctica for Canadian scientists, especially marine scientists, is that uh, we don't have a dedicated vessel to do science in Antarctica. So usually when uh, Canadian scientists do research in Antarctica on uh, marine geology or oceanography, they need to collaborate with a uh, foreign uh, vessel, for example, the Germans, uh, the UK and, and other countries. And then we follow their research program. So we generally are not leading our own science program when we work in Antarctica. And so this is uh, the first time that Canadian scientists are leading their own research program um, on a Canadian vessel down to Antarctica. So we're very lucky to be working with uh, the Navy on this deployment and to be putting our science equipment uh, on board this vessel so that we can accomplish uh, Canadian-led science in Antarctica. Well, why is it so important to explore this part of the world? So it's important because Canada is a polar nation and so uh, Canada has a lot of expertise in Arctic research, both in oceanography and marine geology. Um, but if we only work in one pole, in one environment, we don't understand the diversity of processes that are happening across the world. And so for Canada to be engaged like this in Antarctica shows a commitment to polar science uh, on the international stage and uh, also shows our, our leadership uh, in polar science uh, internationally. And so in terms of showing how Canada can really become a leader in polar science, both on the oceanography, contaminants, and marine geology side, uh, is important uh, during this expedition. Well, how exciting is this uh, exploration for you as a scientist? So it's very exciting. Uh, we, uh, a lot of the team on board has been working in the Arctic, uh, and so we're familiar with these types of environments. Of course, uh, Antarctica is, uh, is a big inland system, so it's a big ice mass. Uh, so we are expecting to see different processes and also we are looking to see if we can see similar processes from the Arctic and the Antarctic. And so that's going to be also something that we're very interested as scientists to see if similar processes are operating on both pole or if we have different processes. The other thing is that as a scientist, um, Antarctica is what the Arctic looked like um, 10,000 years ago. And so uh, that will be also interesting to, to see uh, these, these different types of processes that are happening. And of course, from a personal level, everybody is really excited to, uh, to just be able to, to uh, see the scenery uh, that Antarctica has to offer. Uh, for your journey so far, has it been smooth sailing? So far, it's been smooth sailing, yes. We've been sailing uh, through um, fjords and islands, and so it's been fairly calm. We are soon entering the Drake Passage, which is renowned for its big waves. And so uh, soon uh, we are getting uh, advice from uh, everybody, all the crew, to secure our, our instruments because we will be entering uh, seas that are a bit more rough in the next few days until we reach uh, the Antarctic Peninsula. Well, safe travels, and we will be following your journey with interest. Thank you. Thank you very much.